train time. The California Zephyr, a 52 hour train ride across the most scenic route in America. Is it fun? Is it a good experience? Is it a bad experience? We got a $2,400 private suite. I am going to test it out today with my daughter, London. Right now we are in Union Station in Chicago. We flew here to get on a train to go across America. I'm actually really excited about this. We are now in line, we found the track. It was a little stressful getting to here. There's lots of different tracks and there's tons of waiting rooms for this. Crazy. Crazy, right? They're so loud and big. I know. They fit a lot of people on the train and this train is completely sold out. We got the last sleeper room on the California Zephyr that you can book in the next four weeks. It's it, the last one. This is a very popular thing right now. Not everybody's going to San Francisco. A lot of people are just getting off. There's multiple stops from here to San Francisco, as you can imagine. Usually it stops for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes but the sleepers are in the front of the train so we just left the majority of the crowd it is a very long walk Look, here's a little restaurant in there a little snack area it's kind of fun to be out here on the train platform taking our bags up the narrow stairs you got this London you can carry the bag very narrow we are in room B you can do it <laughs> Oh, you got it. You don't have to take it down for 50 hours. Oh, this, is so this is it. Okay. Wow. This is our room. Very spacious. <laughs> cool. Okay. Okay. There we go. The train is moving. It's super dark out there, but it's moving. It feels like nighttime in here. It's I feel like very not smooth. Moving. Yeah, it's smooth. It's really it's nice. It's a TV, it's a TV right there. That's here we go, ladies and gentlemen, my favorite attention. Welcome aboard the Amtrak train number five, California Zephyr. Okay. It's nice. California Zephyr. In the California Zephyr, the highest level of room that you can get is the sleeper room, and we did get that. It's the sleeper that has the toilet and the shower. Um, it is quite small. When it says bathroom and shower, it's the same room. Like the water from the shower goes onto that, and it's all waterproof. You even have this that covers up the toilet paper. It is quite small, <laughs> but. It is a luxury on a train that you're sharing with a lot of people. There's also one more chair inside of here. This one right here. It's a little bit shaky. It does move awkwardly and the seat is very, very hard. I do have a table that you can share in between these two places if you did want to eat inside of your room. It is broken right here. This little thing, how do you open this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> We did have some extra toilet paper in here, some extra tissues and some towels and little tiny paper cups. The next lower level from this is a sleeper room that just has like a sleeper bed. It's a smaller room in that car. Everybody that has those sleeper rooms shares the same shower and bathroom. We're about 20 minutes into this train ride and first impressions are it's super, super smooth riding on the train. It's been really, really slow until just now it's starting to pick up a little bit. So let's play a little game. London, how fast do you think we are going right now? Um, 70 miles. Oh my gosh. 68. Oh, you looked in the mirror. <laughs> you cheated, dang it. I didn't realize there was a mirror right there. So she was cheating. I was like actually super, super impressed. Three things I wanna show you right now. One, how to push the call button. I pushed it. Two, how we make the beds at nighttime. How do you get these things converted into beds? The bottom, the top, how safe is it up there? How comfortable is it? And then the third thing is our door. It is safe in here. We have these curtains, but then we also have this door that latches right there. I'm gonna open it up because we're ready. And then within a few minutes, we'll have the guy that will come and he will make the beds for us. We'll go out and he'll make them. And then the mattress for the bottom is up here that he takes and puts down below. Yes, 
said, I made it, Mom. I'm on TV. <laughs> you made it. You're on TV, yep. Yeah? Mom, I made it. I'm on TV. <laughs> Ooh, and then there's a safety bar right there so the thing doesn't close on you. <laughs> and then the important thing, what if you roll off the bed? Well, we put this thing on and it's like a safety net that holds you from so rolling off of oh, the no. <laughs> oh no! Is it saving your life? One rule on a train that you may not have known is that shoes are required everywhere outside of your room. And there is a logical reason behind this. And this is it right here. These cars are connected together, but in between the cars, they just have this little cover and there's this metal gap right here and you can see it going up and down. Now what they told us was, this can be dangerous for your feet. If you're barefoot, your toe can get caught in there and you maybe you could lose a toe or break a toe. And they made a little joke and said, you don't want to have to call a tow truck. It's not the most comfortable spot. It doesn't feel super safe in here. Now I'm straddling both cars, and it's not easy to do. Let's get out of that area. It's uh, a little unnerving being in there, but yeah, that's why you have to wear shoes when you're on the train. It is time to go out and explore the few cars that we have and take a look and see what the food eating areas look like, the little shop, the observation train, and we get to learn how to walk in a moving train. You really have to keep your balance really well. Okay, go push the button. Oh, I don't want to press the button. Just press where it says press. You can use your foot. No, I don't want to. Silly dude, you got <laughs> This is what the smaller cars look like. It's just one bed up there, one right there, no bathroom, but you can sleep inside of that. All right, you got this. Push the button. Is this like safe? Yeah, it's safe. Go, 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 go. Now we are in between the trains. <laughs> oh, 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 it's bouncing everywhere. So this is the dining area where we have reservations for 6.30. The meals look pretty good, like look at the menu. Very fancy, they have fresh roses in up here. Okay, this is where the little store is, where you have things that you can buy. The dinner tonight is included in the price of admission, basically. But then this is like a snack stand, convenience store that you pay separately for. So we should go sit up there. Okay, let's find a table. So right now we're in the observation train car, and it's really cool to have the windows that are up here. And I will say, after sitting in the other ones for a couple of hours, these seats are much more comfortable than the ones inside of our room. We just figured it would probably be a good thing to come up here and observe for a little bit before it gets dark. Really pretty way to see America. We're crossing the Mississippi River. It's huge. Check it out. The Mississippi. That's big. It doesn't look very clean. It doesn't? No. Oh. This is a key moment in our journey across America. We are officially crossing the Mississippi River. And this is a very wide point of the Mississippi River where we're at. Maybe it's just this wide all over the place, but it is a massive river. And it's a really big bridge crossing over it. Look at the birds, they're crazy. It's really jungly here. I wonder why. Probably because the river. Okay, this is a big moment. I'm going to test out the um, community shower. We come in and I'm definitely not the first one that showered. Oh, and the train is bumpy and moving and turning. And so when you shower, you have to be ready for that because you never know which way you're gonna go. And then there's the shower. All right, I just took a shower going 70 miles an hour down a train track and it actually feels really good. Water was really hot, it actually felt good, but something interesting that I noticed, this may not be the most prettiest thing ever, but it goes directly to the train tracks. So all of your shower water, the soapy water, just goes out the bottom of the train onto the train tracks. For the shower water, you don't need to mix it in with the actual sewage water, you can just dump it to the bottom of the train. So, super interesting.
into and they just called over the speaker that our 6.30 dinner time is ready. So we are heading to dinner, gonna test out the food, see how good it is. Okay, good news, we found the children's side of the menu and I think she can handle some of that. Mac and cheese is the winner. What do you think? Can you do that? Yeah? Okay. First thing on the menu is an appetizer. It's an empanada with a strawberry on it. Should be good. The empanada, I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. I got like a corn, some kind of soup spicy thing. I will give that one a four out of 10. So there's where our ratings are. Compared to airplane food, so far I would say the airplane food is probably better. So this is just the appetizers. We'll see, but anyway, and now we happen to stop at a town where there's a 10 minute break, mostly a smoke break. A lot of people here in this dining car just took off. There's a lot of people on this train that do appreciate the smoke break. They just left their food and they're like, we'll be back. During the break when people are out, our food did arrive. So here we go. London's food, it is the beautiful mac and cheese with the green beans. Yum, yum, you like green beans? No. Well, you will today. And then here is my steak. First impression of the mac and cheese. One medium, one well done. Why? It's like all the whole inside. And it's hot. Mix it together and then it will be, all be warm. Okay, so out of 10, London, what would you say the mac and cheese is? A what? A three. A three. Okay, a three. I would say the steak. I did eat it all. Um, it wasn't like grilled on a grill. It was definitely more like in a microwave. I said like, well done, and they just put it in the microwave for another 10 seconds. So, I'm gonna give it a four. A four. four. It was good. It was good. I'm glad that I had it, but there's a lot of good steaks in the world. So, for a train, I would say the entrees, airplane food still beats the train food up to this point. Dessert is still to come. A chocolate mousse, something dessert, and a blueberry cheesecake. That is an um, best dish in the Yeah. It's good. It's good? The it's good. good? All right, very good. Dude. We didn't quite finish our dessert, but we almost ate all of it. Um, the chocolate toffee mousse cake, something with whipped cream out of 10, what would you think? A 10. A 10? A 10? Maybe a nine. Okay. Wow. We could use some more whipped cream. I would say my blueberry cheesecake with the whipped cream and some sort of drizzle stuff on it. I'm gonna give it an eight. It was fantastic. It was really good. So I would say dessert saved the day and you forget about everything else before it because the dessert was really good. And so tomorrow morning breakfast, I already looked at the menu and they do have some, some French toast that looks really good, like with berries and whipped cream and everything. We're both gonna get the same thing because it looks incredible. In a little bit here, it will just get dark. All right, dining car, it was good going between the trains here. It's always so sketchy. And now we go to our rooms and they might have made our beds for us. And I wish I would have known that. I would have actually like moved stuff around and cleaned up a little bit. But the people we're eating with said that usually they come while you're eating and fix it. So let's check it out. Nope, still messy. Great. <laughs> it's nighttime and we went to the observation car to see the stars or to see what's out there. It's as if they just put black tunnel. over the window. Like, yeah, like we stopped in a tunnel. Like, all you see out there and you're is that. The reflection. That's really all you see right now, just that. I mean, all you see is the reflection of us, but even up there, there's nothing. But yet, there still are people in here that are just chilling. But yeah, I thought we'd see a little bit more. We have been stopped for like 20 minutes, and I'm not quite sure why. This is the view outside. Now that the train is moving again, this is what nighttime looks like driving across America. Probably a good idea to sleep when the sun is down. Mm -hmm. That sounds smart. Mm -hmm. yeah. How'd you come up with that? I love it. It's a brilliant life hack. Mm. What do you think tomorrow is going to be like? A lot of snacks, probably. Yeah. Oh, are we driving through uh, Colorado? Or Lots something? of mountains. Yeah. I'm excited for that. The Colorado Rockies, that is why this is the most beautiful or most scenic train route in all of America. And it's going to be most of tomorrow as we go from Denver up into the mountains, back down into Salt Lake City. So we need to get some sleep. All right, tell us about the top bunk. How did you like sleeping on the top bunk last night? It was really weird. I felt like it was going to fall. Did you fall though? No. Roll over hard like the train just 
hit a bump. <laughs> oh no! Pretty comfy, you're gonna sleep like that now? Yeah. yeah, you're holding on pretty tight here. Oh, there you go. How excited are you to sleep in this bed tonight? If this bed was in a hotel, mm -hmm. I would not be very excited. What would you rate it out of 10 if it was in a hotel? Zero. Zero out of 10. What would you rate it on a train? Like a, a five. A five. Yeah, what would you rate it if you realized that the other people in the other parts of coach are just sitting in chairs all night long for three days? Uh, probably like a 12. It'd be a 12, exactly. It's all about perspective. <laughs> right now we're going through a beautiful part of the canyon. It's just zigzagging down a canyon with a river down on the side. And there's just cliffs everywhere, rocks, red rock. For the last few hours, we've just been driving through the canyon with the Colorado River right outside, and it has been incredible. Definitely the most beautiful part of this entire trip. And also, people from Colorado give you a very interesting wave. Um, they told us over the train that it's bear country. Look outside, you'll see bear bottoms, not grizzly bears, but actually, somehow everybody has gotten the message that when the Amtrak train goes by and you're in a kayak on a paddleboard hiking, you show the train your buttocks behind. Bum bum. Other than the bums, the views have been incredible. This stretch through Colorado has just been breathtaking. And about 20 minutes ago, we just crossed the halfway point. We have about 24 hours left and just over halfway to go. We have a five minute break yeah, at Glenwood Springs. We're gonna get off and just stay here for five minutes. I really want a picture at the front of the train, but oh, it's so far. I don't know if we can, yeah, I bet we could get up there. Let's do it, London. I really want a picture at the front of the train. We only have five minutes. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. We found the front of the train. We gotta get a picture. We only have a few minutes left. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, we did it. They were very clear that when time is up, time is up. And it is heading out. So I'd love to go get a chocolate milk or a milkshake or a monster energy drink or a Dr. Pepper, but I don't see a shop close enough by. We do need to get back on the train pretty quick. for them to say like all aboard or like blow, a blow a whistle. Ah! Right when I was saying it, they did it. Where's London at? Oh, she's already on. <laughs> she's very obedient. We did it. We are aboard. Look, they're filming us and we're filming them. Hi kids. Oh, look at that. So gorgeous. We're just right on the edge. Grand Junction, Colorado, very warm. Uh, we have a 10 minute stop here, so let's see what we've got in the train station. No, no chocolate milk. Train station life. I love these random train stations. I mean, look at this thing. Looks like it's been here for 50 years. Oh, there's a shop. <laughs> oh, that's quick. Very popular. And Yahoo, Monster Energy Drink, perfect. Oh my gosh, I just loaded up crackers, Swedish fish, chocolate milks, all kinds of drinks. It is a treat when you can finally get some actual treats. That is one thing you just have to get used to when you are on the trains is that you just enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey, and you never know like when you're actually gonna arrive. Like it's usually delayed. Amtrak doesn't own these railways and there's a lot of trains full of coal and cars or whatever things need to be transported on rails across America. Like right now, we're pulled over on the side next to another train and there is another track and we're waiting for the other train to go by. Check out where we're at. We're finally in Utah and it is looking like Utah. It's like the desert out here. Is 
it day three, day two? What is it? Day three? I don't even know. Did we go part. all day yesterday? I don't even know. I think it's day three. <laughs> it's the final day. Lunch, grilled cheese, and a cheeseburger. It's really good. Grilled cheese is good? Mm -hmm. Good. We skipped breakfast day. Oh my gosh. See, like, look at this. Look out there. Just big old river and trees everywhere. It is a very nice way to do lunch. So, we're supposed to get in around four o'clock, but it's delayed two or three hours. So we'll get in, I don't know, six or seven. We have a flight to Las Vegas at 6.30. We are definitely gonna miss that. We might need to stay in a hotel for the night and then just skip school tomorrow. <laughs> you okay with that? Go shopping maybe for a little bit, then fly to Vegas and then drive home to Southern Utah. So it's like bear territory. I would love to see a bear. I would not like to see any more bear bottoms. We just passed Lake Tahoe and we are climbing up the mountain up to the Donner Pass Trail. We're just about to the top of that, to the Donner Peak. And then once we come over the top, it'll be all the way down the mountain until we get to Sacramento and then San Francisco. Right now we are in the tunnel. Fun fact, all the signs are glow in the dark. See that? Well, they're glowing in the dark over the top. And then we do have lights that are glowing. And we're out, and wow. Look at that. Well, our train has stopped, and there's people walking around up near the front. I don't know if it's the conductors. Oh, it's Amtrak coming by. It's another Amtrak. Maybe that's what we're waiting for, for this guy to pass us. We are nearing the end of our trip. We're getting really close to San Francisco and it's really nice because we see the ocean, we see bays, we see boats outside. Yes, we are three hours delayed and I'm not sure if we're gonna make it all the way to Las Vegas tonight on an airplane and then back home, but really interesting trip and I want to give you all my final thoughts after we get off the train. This is it, goodbye to our room. We have reached Emeryville. I'll be honest, we almost got off in Reno. <laughs> but it's we made it. I'm glad that we made it all the way here. Whew, it was a long haul, 54 plus hours, almost 55 hours, it was supposed to be 50, but there were some delays on the way. 55 hours, we are off the train. Welcome to California. <laughs> The California Zephyr, we have accomplished that. Check that off the bucket list. I can feel that cool San Francisco breeze. It's actually kind of cold. I think this video is probably super fun showing you everything that we saw while we were here. And thank you to our editor for spending days and days and days on editing it. I'm probably gonna give him like 24 hours of footage. It's insane. Thank you, Jason. You are the best editor in YouTube world. That's right. 55 hours on the California Zephyr. Are you glad that you came with your dad and did this? Yes, it was a lot better than the play. This was a really fun video. Someday in London, would you take your own kids on this train ride? I don't know if they're allowed cats, but probably. Oh, cats. I said kids, not cats. I know. <laughs> Check this out. This doesn't quite fit properly, and so they jerry-rigged this toilet thing. They got a water bottle cap, and they put it right there, and that makes it so that it actually fits. I don't know if the train people did it, or if someone that was staying in here just decided to be creative and fix it, but it works. He was grabbing his pants. He was ready for the shot. <laughs> Why do they do that? It's so weird. Probably saw 50 people's bums today. Imagine what it would look like if it snowed in here. 